Christy, you can see here how the architecture of the homes that we're rebuilding reflect the communities that they're in. Yes, this house is a lot different than the last one we just saw. Yeah, this neighborhood is called Pontchartrain Park, and it's got a really interesting history. It was actually founded in the final days of segregation as a community for upwardly mobile black Americans um, who were moving up the chain. And uh, it was actually designed by a gentleman by the name of Joe Bartholomew, who's a kind of an interesting character because he designed a lot of the golf courses in and around New Orleans. Unfortunately, because he was an African-American, he couldn't play on those golf courses. And so when he designed this community, he made sure it had one so he could teach other African-Americans about the sport he loved so much. And another note about this house, it's an environmentally friendly house. And so the Salvation Army uses disaster mitigation strategies when we rebuild homes. And we also know that rebuilding green is friendly for the planet. So can you give us the link between the Salvation Army and building green? Yeah, it's pretty simple. The more energy efficient you can make a home, the less it costs to run each month. And if you're on a fixed income, any money we can put back in that person's pocket every month is a good thing. So if your electric bill was $100, and by adding some energy efficient features, we can drop that to $75 a month, that's $25 extra dollars for that family that they can use to save for college or maybe retirement. So let's go over some of the features. What would be the first one you'd tell people about? This house has some really cool things. One of my favorites uh, are the rain gutters, believe it or not. Because on most houses, the way the rain gutters work, after a storm, that water just washes onto the street and down the drain. Here, that water goes into a water mattress. It's like a big balloon and fills up. And then when you're ready to water your lawn, you just turn the spigot on and drain that mattress so you're not paying for city water. And what about energy efficient appliances? I'm assuming this house has those. All top of the line. Top Energy Star stuff from the washer, dryer, uh, refrigerator, freezer. Again, the less energy that you're using on a daily basis, the cheaper the house is to run. And then I think there's weather stripping on all the windows. Yeah, you want to make sure that uh, your doors, your windows are appropriately sealed. Because if there are cracks underneath them, all your heat in the winter goes right out there. Um, or your air conditioning in the summer goes right out those crevices and that's like mo putting money right out the window. And my nephew's favorite feature, solar panels, and we can also see those from the outside. Yeah, New Orleans is in a warm, sunny climate. Why not take advantage of it during the summer to use a little bit of solar energy, limit your dependence on standard electrical power to fray your overall cost? All of these features are making these homes environmentally friendly, and that should command a higher resale value, which in turn creates some generational wealth that homeowners can pass it on to their children. Absolutely. This is the type of house that I'd want to buy if I could. Well, I think it's a great house to stop by on with our tour. Yeah, but we're not over yet. Uh, we're going to move on to our next neighborhood. We're going to take a walk by the water down to a neighborhood called Riverview. Awesome. I'm excited. Cool. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh yes, this is exactly what I imagined a newly built modern house would look like. And you can even smell that new house smell. Yeah, like the houses we looked at in Pontchartrain Park, this house is energy efficient, LEED certified. And here's the really neat thing about the Riverview neighborhood. Prior to Katrina, 85% of the people who lived in this community were renters. Now, by encouraging home ownership, we're changing the demographics of that community and putting a better investment in here. Yeah, I think that's why it's an even extra special privilege to be standing here. Yeah, this is a new house, but you know what? The Salvation Army's program didn't just stop there with new homes complete from the ground up. We've helped out in smaller ways as well. Let's take a look at some of the Environ New Eco Baskets that have been given out. Well, first of all, it's very wonderful being on your front porch today, mm -hmm. and um, I just want to thank you for inviting us to your home. Okay. Now, as you know, I'm with the Salvation Army, mm -hmm. and we uh, believe in not only rebuilding homes after disasters, but pouring into energy-efficient homes. Mm -hmm. And you were one of the recipients of our Eco Basket. Yes, I was. Can you tell me what was in that? Basically, the Eco Basket, uh, it consists of material and individuals who were able to come out and to help me to restore and uh, an assessment was completed by some individuals from the uh, Salvation Army. They came out and they looked at how they could help me to really, uh, like for instance, I had a hatch in my, in my uh, hall. So cold I couldn't take it. It was basically cold. And the lady came in, she said, well, why? Why do you have these heaters? Do you need heaters, these little heaters? I had the central heat in there, but it still was cold in here. So they installed and they built a hatch. Oh, wow. 
uh, just for me in this uh, in that area, this door right here, a uh, lot of cracks. So they were able to insulate that uh, that area. In my kitchen, I had a lot of cold air because there was a lot of drafts in the air uh, a place. So this basket was more than just a, a welcome whacking gift basket. It's a heavy hitting basket to make your entire home more energy efficient. Yes, it was. And 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 when they talked about doing some giving eagle baskets in this community, I said, well, I need to be the recipient of one of those baskets because I'm I'm cold. I'm cold all the time. So they really came and they did a beautiful job um, and a job that would enhance the community and enhance uh, senior citizens or any, any, uh, anyone who had property and could not afford to have this uh, uh, the things done. They came and then they worked with me one on one to find out what I needed, and they brought in individuals who were able to do those or uh, do the job. Now, tell me, can you tell a difference in your energy bills? My bill is much lower. Mm -hmm. I would say from fifty to seventy-five percent cheaper. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. Were you expecting it to be that much of a cut when they came out and no, first introduced no, you? No, no, because. Um, I, I really just wanted to get rid of the coldness, but I didn't realize what all was going to take place. And so right now, I'm really happy about everything that the Salvation Army has done for me and, and its community because they've uh, helped a lot of individuals in this community, especially senior citizens. Well, I was going to ask about your neighbors before we end the interview. Mm -hmm. Is there more hope today than five years ago? It is, it is because uh, the presence of the Salvation Army in this neighborhood is a plus. Well, I've been in your home just mm -hmm. just a few minutes ago, and not only is it, it warm heat-wise, but just the, the aroma of your spirit and the food that you're cooking, I know that your neighbors <laughs> are probably very thankful for your presence in this neighborhood as well. Oh, yes, they are. Uh, usually I receive... Mm, I, I, I smell something good. Well, thank you for talking with us today, and I think we'll go inside and now eat a, a meal basket on, <laughs> on, on you. <laughs> well, I'll see what I can uh, get, help you all with. Jeff, this has been such a rewarding day for me, seeing the diversity of all the projects the Salvation Army has been involved in here in New Orleans. Yeah, what's really great to see, the reconstruction projects are big projects that are really making a difference, but it's even the simple stuff like those eco baskets where you can provide a homeowner with just some weather stripping, a cover for their attic, and suddenly you've lowered their monthly energy costs for the entire time they own their home. Yeah, I can understand now why it was so important for you to come back and see all the work that's been done. And yeah, for so many of us first responders, our images of New Orleans and the Gulf Coast were the devastation left behind after Katrina, the destruction, the pain of the people that were living there. And now coming back and seeing the reconstruction and rebuilding effort underway, man, it just changes that whole image. It's great to see these communities coming back um, and rebuilding. Yeah, and that is a plug for the Chambers of Commerce throughout the Gulf Coast. The Gulf Coast is open, so we're going to go and support the local economy now. That's right, Christy. We ought to go ahead and check out some of the great New Orleans seafood, and I'm going to go ahead and get you a full plate of crawdads. No, I'm not doing cockroaches even with that accent. You just tried to mask. So, <laughs> see, Christy is going to miss out, but you don't have to when it comes to Salvation Army Disaster Radio. We're going to be continue bringing you new episodes, video and audio, all the way through 2011. Stay with us. Keep tuning in. And thanks for hanging with us in New Orleans.